I'm mainly checking for gold nuggets today. Now you remember this space right here? A lot of y'all didn't figure out what I was gonna do with it. A couple of you did. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use it as storage because I got stuff all over the place down here and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> So we've already knocked out a little section here to show you where it's gonna go. But I wanted to show you something first because a lot of you probably don't understand how the lumber gets down here. Every piece of lumber, every piece of track, everything you see down here has come down that skip bucket down the main shaft. And that's how most mines operate. So all the lumber we're gonna be using for our new shelving system was pre-cut and it's coming down the main shaft now. Look at that marker. That's enough lumber to choke a donkey. So we're gonna get all that stuff out, get it back into the wobble pop strip, and then we're gonna start trying to frame it in there. But I ain't gonna do nothing until you smash that like button. Ah! Now I know it seems like a lot of lumber, but this is what it takes just to build a shelf. And the way that you keep it in place is with these. These are called shims. And miners use shims all the time. We go through tons of these. Yeah, I know, enough jaw jacking. Just get on with it, Jeff, because we want to see some progress. Will you just keep your pants on, son of a boy? It's almost like I might know what I'm doing. Ah. Now I can get all my stuff up off the floor so I'm not kicking it around all the time and I'll know where to find it. And this thing is solid too. It ain't going nowhere. Woo, now the fun part. Mucking all this dirt up. You wouldn't think cutting that little bit would make a lot of muck, but it did. Do I got any takers out there to want to help? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I know you're saying, Jeff, stop all this jaw jacking and get to mucking. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. So then after that, what are we gonna do? What do you think we're gonna do? We're gonna look for gold. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? So say it with me. So come on. What is that? Let's go. Now that a lot of people ask me, Jeff, how come you're using a baby muck stick? Well, I like my baby muck stick. Is that big enough for you? 
And I got this big old marker right here for digging off that muck sheet. Is that big enough for you, huh? The reason why I like using this tiny muck stick is because it's easier on the elbows and the arm. You try mucking out with those things, it's gonna wipe you out after four hours, I guarantee it. All right, enough jaw jacking, let's get on to mucking. And yeah, you know what kind of music you're getting, so just get ready for it, cause here it comes. shelving so I can put all my cans of beans up there. Now we can start driving this drift forward and looking for gold. Now speaking of gold, you got a choice, son of Jim. You want to hunt for gold nuggets or you want to run all that dirt that we pulled out last time? I'm sorry, what? Well, guess what, son of Jim? You're going to get both. How do you like them beans? Now before we get too far along, I wanted to show you something. I've talked about these clay seams before, but for some of you new folks out there, the dark clay seams here, they don't have any gold in them, but they've got a lot of crystals crystal, gypsum crystal that's precipitated out into them. Some of them are extremely large. In fact, we've got clusters called gypsum rose that we found down here. And a lot of people out there say, Jeff, there's times when you're in the mine or out in the field that we can't hear what you're saying. Could you at least try to get yourself a wireless mic? Well, that's what we did. Got this little DJI wireless mic system. They're supposed to be pretty good. I bet you could hear me even if I didn't have a microphone on, huh? <laughs> So we're gonna see what this sounds like. Test, 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 gold. <laughs> Now, before we get too far along, I thought it'd be fun to show you what it was like when the old timers were digging down in the drift mines and all they were using was what? That's right, a candle. You imagine digging with this thing and single jacking or double jacking too? Well, I bet you there was a lot of people called Lefty back then. So we're gonna light this thing up and see what it looks like. And then after that, we're gonna try out a carbide lamp. And this is an actual carbide lamp from the early 1900s. So we're gonna give that a shot and see what it looks like. Looks like a good place right here, maybe. Yeah, just put him in the wall like that. That looks pretty groovified, huh? All right, let's light it up and turn the lights off. Oh, not much light. Can you imagine doing this all day long? No way. Oh, I mean, I guess your eyes would get used to it. But once you went up to the surface, man, and it sure would make identification of ore really hard to do, you know what I mean? I mean, I can see, but it's not exactly the easiest thing. All right, let's give that carbide lantern a shot and see if it's any better. All right, I got my miner's lamp right here. 
This is how they used to ship it back in the day in these small cans and of course the bigger cans that you're used to seeing in the mines all the time. I like to keep mine in a plastic bag because it's so humid down here that I'm afraid that that moisture is going to get to it. Nothing to write home about, but that's calcium carbide. And when you mix water with it, you get a settling gas. Now on your miner's lamp, you have two compartments. You have one at the top, which has the water in it, and the one in the bottom, which is where the calcium carbide goes. And the way you get the water from the chamber on the top down to the bottom is there's a valve right up here on the top. You open this valve clockwise, water goes through, turn it counterclockwise, water stops pouring. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Take the top off, it unthreads. You can see the little valve right there. Right now I got the water off. So if I turn that on, you can see the water coming down through it. See that? And then when I turn, if I turn it up more, it's a steady stream and then turn it off. And your little reservoir is up here on the top. See that? We're gonna go ahead and put some calcium carbide in this thing and see what it does. When water mixes with calcium carbide, it creates what's called an exothermic reaction. So this whole chamber is gonna get really, really hot. And you gotta be careful with that because you'll go to grab it and it'll be really hot. Especially when it's on top of your head, you're gonna feel that. It's a downside to having one of these things. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and put the two back together, nice and tight. Open the valve, get some water coming through there. There's a striker right here. There you go. And it's not bad, it's pretty bright. You can see where that flame is literally sticking out. And I can control the size of that flame by opening or closing this valve. See how big that flame can get when I open that valve up? So we're gonna crank it down and then we're gonna see what that looks like. Turn my miner's headlamp off, there you go. It's not bad, it's a lot better than that candle. Oh yeah, I could work by that. And that's what it used to look like back in the day. All right, I'm gonna turn my light off and I'm gonna try to work by it. <laughs> Ooh, old school, baby, old school. I could work with this. A lot better. I could do this all day. The amount of carbide that I got in there right now should last me about an hour if I turn this on medium. You don't need a lot of it in there. I got enough carbide in my can to be able to work a couple days down here. So wasn't that fun, huh? I know you're saying, Jeff, why don't you work like that all day long? Well, it's gonna be hard for me to find that shiny working a metal detector with this thing on my head. All right, let's get busy finding some gold, shall we? Oh yeah, that fits nice, look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? But I'll tell you what, nothing beats this guy. Oh, man. I can't imagine how the old timers did it. Now, I want to give a big shout out to Woody out there. You know who you are, Woody, because he's donated this lamp. This was his grandpappy's lamp that he used down in the mines back in the day. And we reconditioned it, got it to work. And this thing works like it's brand new. I love this thing. Thanks, Woody. I appreciate that. All right, now we're going to hunt for targets because I got to have that gold. And I know you got to have that gold. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? Oh, you better say it with me. So come on. My name is Jeff. That's right. Let's go. Now, I already searched these walls here from before, and I didn't get much. But I do have a target right about there. Now, I definitely have a target right there. And it's definitely showing gold on the meter. So we're gonna check that out. <sighs> Thinking it's right about there.
Yeah, I think I think it was the rail. Shows you how sensitive these uh, MineLab 1000s are. Well, dang it, I thought that was a nugget, but it seems to be the rail. Those Gold Monster 1000s are really sensitive. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blow this whole section out. Then we're gonna re metal detect and see if we get anything, so. So you just keep them pants on. Keep them all real good life. All right, I got a target in there. And no, I don't think it's the rail. But before I go ahead and hunt it out, I wanna show you something really bizarre. And I remember I showed you this last time we were down here and we're trying to grow them, but we're not having much success. But look at this. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a root right there. You see it? Big one too. A whole bunch of branches, like dendrites. Right there, you see that? So we didn't have much luck growing the last one because we didn't put it in with a wet paper towel or anything, it just dried out. But I thought that was pretty cool. All right, turn that up. Yep. I had another one over here, but this one's more pronounced. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and dig him out. Let's see what we got. All right, here we go. Still in there? Oh my gosh. Well, that's a good sign, I guess. Uh, so we can dig them out. Uh. Oh, he's out. He's out. Oh, yeah, he's out. Oh, he sounds big. Sounds real big. All right, let's get our spoon. Let's get our spoon. All right, you have to move. Uh, okay, let's see what we got. All right. Uh, nope. Uh, yeah, I got you now. Ooh, is that it? Oh, wouldn't that be great if that was it? Oh, still big. Oh, there's another big one. Look at that. Ah. Oh, I got it in my hand. I don't see nothing, do you? <laughs> there it is right there. You see it? Look at that monka right there. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Ooh, that's a big one too. That is a big one. Hold on. Okay. Oh yeah. Look at that monker. Look at that. Isn't that the prettiest thing you ever saw? Huh? Ooh, that's heavy too. 
That's real heavy. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you know I gotta do the dance for that one, huh? <laughs> Come on, do the dance with me, son of Jim. You know you want to. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna tell Leela about it that it came out of her drift. You know she's still gloating about how much gold is coming out of her drift versus mine. Why do you think we're working over there all the time? You know there's just a big pocket of nuggets sitting in there waiting to be discovered, don't you? All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna scoop up all this dirt where this nugget came from, and I'm gonna also scoop up all the dirt that came out of the sump. We're gonna run it all together. Remember last time we had all that material come out? Well, now we're gonna run it, and that's what you should be doing too. Anytime you find nuggets, you go ahead and you grid that area off, and you're either running through a wash plant or you're running through a dry washer, because if there's nuggets, Chances are there's fines in there too, and probably a lot. You see how there's a shovel down there? Rocks, piece of pipe. Sumps are notorious for collecting stuff. That's why they're called sumps. And everything likes to fall in there, even people. And here's some of that material we dug out of the sump. Mmm, don't that look good? Juicy red material. So we're gonna run all of it through the wash plant and see what pops out. Any takers on how much gold's gonna come out, huh? Leave your comment down below. Oh, and don't forget to watch to the end because I got a really big surprise for you that's just gonna blow them pants off. I wish that somebody would help me. Ah! What the heck is that? Boy, oh, yeah. boy, oh, yeah. boy, oh, yeah. Let's Go ahead and shut it down, see what we got. Oh, man. Oh, that looks safe, don't it? <laughs> Ooh, you guys see anything in there? I don't see anything just yet. Oh, I see one right there. See it? Ooh, that's so good. Mm -mm -mm. All right, you know the drill. We got to get the box out of there. Ah. Moment of truth, moment of truth. Come over here. We got all kinds of roots in there. You see that? Yeah. Where's that piece of gold? There it is right there. You see that? If I can get my fingers on it. Big old fat flake. Isn't that nice? Let's see what else, what else? Come on, give me a big fat nugget. Give me a big old fat nugget. Nope, not see anything. Oh, but I see gold up here. Do you see it? One there. There's one there. Oh, there's a whole bunch of little ones right there. Oh, there's some more right there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, there's another one right there. You see it? I wonder what's underneath this. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's get this thing cleaned up so we can pan it out. All right, last chance. How much gold do you think is coming out of that box, huh? Ooh, go ahead and leave your comment down below before we pan it out. We'll see how good you really are. I should have used my patented drill with paint mixer first. Cause that's real sticky, but we're gonna try to get through it anyway. All right, here we go. Ooh, look at all that black sand in there and all that nasty clay. Oh, I see gold. I see gold all in there. Look at that. Look at all that black sand in there. Gold all trapped up in there. All right, bucket's clean. Ooh, now the moment of truth, huh? Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, 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 I can't wait. Oh, look at the amount of gold. Oh my gosh. 
That's nothing but. Look at that. First riffle, fill. Second riffle, full. Third, full. Fourth, oh my gosh. All the way down. Look at this. Right about here is where. No, there's a little piece right there. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't wait to pan that. Oh, look at all that gold. That's why you flip it inside out. Gold is stuck in there. Right there where my fingertip is, is a little piece of gold. I don't know if you can see it, but it's stuck right in that little groove. Man, these gold hog mats work fantastic. Now we're gonna pan that out. Feast your eyes on that, Sonny Jim. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Now that is a record clean out. Just look at that. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about, Sonny Jim. Ooh, that's way over an ounce easy. Did you leave your guest down below, huh? Wow, that is a lot of gold. That's the most I've seen in there in a long time. So I know you're saying, Jeff, what's the big surprise? We'll just keep them pants on. Well, like usual, we didn't run one bag. That's right, because we give it away all the time. Woo, and of course, we're gonna be giving all that gold away too. But not only that, oh yeah, there's more. That big old fat nugget, you remember him? Gonna be giving him away too. And if that weren't enough, because we love these Gold Hog multi sluices so much, we're giving a brand new one away with pump at the end of this month. Now, if you wanna know how you can get in on all that gold, it's real simple. Just sign up as a premium patron. Not to mention, we got three-day gold mining trips too. Now if any of this sounds like something you want to be a part of, just look for the little icon at the end of the video that looks something like, yeah, looks like that. <laughs> Click on it, make a $10 pledge, and you're in like Flynn. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams and who? My name is Jeff. Saying you always wanted to be a gold miner, so you could have tons of shiny too. Just sign up as a premium patron, son, because we give away tons of AU. Take care, everybody.